process? Do you have to like be examined, you know, committee on ministry style or something like that? There, there is a, I understand a $1 per year membership fee, all right? And if you want to join and you don't have the dollar, you let me know and I'll throw it to you because they're worth it, okay? Um, and, and then the other beautiful part of this is these folks have all made a huge commitment to come to South Carolina and do this, right? And, and so on our side, um, they are, they're, the agreement was, hey, can y'all pay $100 to be here this week to help with some food costs? That, so the Mariners are welcomed in, and so I think it's just a wonderful partnership, a wonderful ministry there. So you can go to some wonderful, beautiful camps and be in different places, and it, it's, it's great, and it doesn't cost but $1 and a little bit of food money once you get there, right? Um, so good plug there. Thank you. So. So, so we have, we've tried to push that out there. I sent an email to every pastor in the Presbytery and all of that. So, so that's an important piece, and that's one of those things we're going to write in that book about how to let people know that the MIMS are coming, right? Um, and, and so, yes, so there's that. Um, I think that's all I was going to say. Any questions, anything that we can? Yes. Yes, and so, um, oh, that kind of reminds me what I was thinking I was going to say. Th so they do right now three trips a year, right? And, and you, you're working on your other two sites for this year. But, and that's all over the United States too, right? And into Canada one time. So get your passport ready. One dollar a passport and a little bit of food money and you're on a trip, okay? And, and you do have to work really hard while you're there, but it's worth every minute of it. Um, so, so, yeah, so um, each trip, the way I understand this, um, someone from the MEMS group becomes kind of the coordinator for that trip. So Manila and her husband, Dupree, they live in West Anderson. We figured that was probably a good um, close connection there for us. And so um, we created a list. Um, Emily helped to create that list. We created that list. And uh, then Manila and Dupree came down, and they said, Okay, we can do all of that. Anything else? And we said, well, yeah, we'll put a few other things on that list. <laughs> and, and so it is, so we do kind of provide that list of information to them. Yeah. Any other questions? MIMS or CAMP or anything else? That's right. But, but you do need to know that we do make that late night security check to make sure everybody's in where they're supposed to be. So <laughs> we're watching you. That's right. It's a little earlier at night. That's right. At least. The, I mean, do, do the very simple math. 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. We'll give you an hour off for lunch. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. So that's an 8-hour work day times 24 hours or 24 people this week times those five days that y'all are working, you know? And, and some of y'all don't stop just because we've had dinner. I've seen some things happening after dinner, and you're not getting paid overtime. So... <laughs> Four, but you do five days of work in those four and a half, so. <laughs> yeah. There's something for everyone, and, and you can learn. I've learned a lot watching and being a part of. Well, 
I know we're getting close to the, the appointed hour here because I'm about to have to sing along with the handbell choir in the balcony up there, and, and you don't want me to sing. So um, thank you all for having us, and thank you for inviting um, the Mims to come and be a part of, of dinner tonight and to give us this opportunity to share with you all. So thanks, Mark. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you to the to our guests from the from the Mims group. And you know, I when I when I talked to the the very first time I talked to the PNC, they asked me what my big formative things were in in ministry and in growing up in the church. And I told them uh, going to Presbyterian camps, going to Montreat, and, and and those types of things. There's a lot of spiritual formation that takes place at places like Camp Fellowship. And 